consider that if we can get different sidewall constructions to achieve different flex patterns and therefore different tyre curves, what happens if we get the same tyre and then increase the normal load? Will it cause just a linear deflection? No, because the construction will vary. When you apply more force, it will change how the tyre deflects. And this is actually one of the key things when it comes to suspension tuning, is, is that your peak slip angle will change depending on your normal load. Let's have a look at that. Let us consider one tyre curve here. If we go the same tyre, we then put less normal force on it coming down from the top. It will have a curve like that for this particular tyre, okay? This is just a generic case, not a specific. If we then have a higher normal load, the curve may look like that. Let's identify our points of peak grip here. We have a point here, a point here, and a point here. If we were to connect those dots, we end up with the curve like this. This produces another curve that we can use to our benefit as suspension designers, which is peak lateral force slip angle, so the slip angle at which we achieve our peak lateral force and maximum grip, versus our normal load. Converting our previous graph into this graph, we can see that if we pick at our low load case, we take a point, the alpha is lower, so here. At our medium case, alpha is higher. High load, higher again. So this gives us an idea of how we can tune our tire slip angles when we have weight transfer across an axle. Now, of course, if the car is cornering, you're going to end up with a weight transfer due to the center of gravity being higher than the ground. This means that you will have to change your slip angles on your tires left and right depending on how hard you're cornering. This is one of the reasons why Ackerman is different to what you normally think. Now, I'm thinking of doing a video on Ackerman. If you want that, let me know. Of course, not only is the peak slip angle changing for the different normal loads, but also the peak grip. The coefficient of friction is not constant, like I was talking about with that load sensitivity. And this is one of the reasons why people run wider tires. If you have a wider tire, it's easier to get the same contact patch length for a given contact patch area. Now let's have a look at the contact patch because that's an important thing. 